And welcome to another episode of Experts Speak. I'm Michael DeLon. Today, I am talking with Marilyn Jenkins. And well, first of all, Marilyn, thank you for uh, being my guest today. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. I love your podcast. Well, thank you. It's going to be a fun conversation because Marilyn does something not a lot of people do. And that is help you grow your business Um Really, I mean, she does a lot of things. She wrote a whole book on the Google business profile, that thing that not a lot of people even pay attention to, but it's really important. And we're going to talk about that. She can help you with social media. She can help you with paid advertising, all kinds of things to help you grow your business, get more, get more leads, get more appointments, make more money. So I want to just dive into a lot of this um, around what you do and how you really help business owners. But tell us, Marilyn, as we jump into this, how in the world did you get doing what you are doing today? Well, I've been in, in digital marketing or, or IT for a very long time, and I'm doing a lot of work for myself, building websites for my own businesses, do the marketing for, for my own businesses, and it just happened to be from referrals. You know, some, you know how it is, you know, people know you and know what you do, and so they refer people to you, and um, it just happens I'm really good at helping businesses grow online, whether it's paid ads or their SEO and Google business profile or social media, so um, I've been doing this full time since about 2010 and really focusing on attorney since 2018. So okay. 2010 was the internet a thing back then? I'm just, <laughs> I'm telling you, the internet was a thing in 2004 when I got started. So there, <laughs> yeah, it's been around quite a long time. Um, all right, well, let's let's dive in. I mean, we can talk about lots of things. Everybody talks social media marketing and all that stuff. Let's. I want to dive in about this Google Business Profile, and I know you you've written about it a lot. Help us understand number one, what is it, and why is it even important for a business owner? Well, people will think of it as Google My Business is what we were we called it yeah. for the longest time. It's now Google Google Business Profile. It is a, this is like the eighth iteration from the original Google Places years ago, <clears throat> okay? So think of uh, Google taking the entire Yellow Pages and making a free directory, okay? Okay. So everybody that was has a business mostly already has a Google Business Profile. You just have to claim it, verify okay. it, and maximize it. Key here is free exposure on the largest search engine in the world for your business, all you have to do is take advantage of it. Okay. Okay. So it's that important. And I know that there's a lot of people that I've not been able to do business with. My goal is to help a thousand firms get to triple digits uh, or triple their sales. And there's a lot that aren't in the position to work with me yet. I wanted this information to be out. That's what the book is about. Okay. It is so important that you tell Google all about you in that free Google business profile so that you show up on the map pack when people near you search for your services. Okay, the map pack, what is that? When you look at a, at the Google search results, I know, when you look at the Google search results now, the very top are ads, right? The right. next part is a map and there's three listings in that map. That's considered the map pack. Okay. Okay. And Google says 60 to 80% of the people that, that search for something nearby on their phone, click on something in the map pack. And those are free listings. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Cause it's funny uh, because yeah, I think we all know that the top ones are paid ads. So I just kind of skim by those. <laughs> They're sponsored. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, exactly. Most people do the same. <laughs> it's crazy that we, you know, people are paying for that, but they're just going to, anyway, that's all. So the map pack, I've seen that. And now the Google business profile, is that that thing kind of on the right-hand side of the Google search thing that has like my location and my hours and in my open, that, is that what you're talking about? Exactly. That okay. over there on the right is your Google business profile, but that is what populates the maps. Oh, seriously. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. I didn't know that. Yeah. This is why I have people like you on, Marilyn, because you're an expert. In <laughs> like, well, that's not, I see those things. I just didn't know they had a name and, yes. or what they do, because I think a lot of people don't realize that the information that for a business owner to, as you say, claim it, verify mm -hmm. it, and then maximize it. I love those three steps. I assume in your book, you talk about those things. Exactly. <laughs> but, but to help when somebody's Googling your business, um, or, or I assume your industry in, in, so I just moved to near Lexington, Kentucky, right? Out of mm -hmm. Little Rock. I don't know where anything is. I needed a hardware store the other day, right? So I went to Google, hardware store, Nicholasville in it. Boom, there it is. 
And I assume if the good hardware stores were there and they had their Google business profile there, they would have popped up in the in the map pack. And I could exactly. say, oh, there it is, right? But if they haven't done their job, all of their competitors are going to pop up who have done it. Exactly. Okay. And it's more important because just a few years ago, there were seven listings in the map pack. Mm -hmm. And now they've shrunk it down for real estate purposes, three. So it's important that you do everything you possibly can, like your correct name, business name, legal business name, not name and keyword and city, absolutely business name, your address, your phone number, and choose the appropriate categories. Um, you know, make sure you put your about us, all the different things that can be in there, keyword rich, and of course, respond to all your reviews. You want to give, it's, think of it, I mean, you can think of it a little bit as a social media in that the more engagement that you show Google that you have, the more weight they give you in that three pack. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's like you said, it goes, it's free because Google likes people driving there. And this is a, a way that business owners can bolster their marketing really for free. It takes a little bit of time, but not a lot. And I, I assume once you do it, it's it's almost, dare I say, set it and forget it. You probably need to come back and check it every three months or every six months just to make sure. But it's not like you're changing this every week, right? Well, I suggest that my clients take 10 minutes a week and do something. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so Google is very much into their user experience. The only way they will continue to be the dominant search engine if, is if people continue to go there and use them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so they are giving weight to people, to listings that are interactive, that use them, that are consistently updating. Think of it as uh, you've got question and answers. So you could go in once a week and add a common question and answer about your service. Okay. Think of your FAQs, right? Yeah. Um, there's products and services, maybe update with a video for a service once a week, Right. Um, reply to reviews, update, you know, put up a video that's an intro video on your main videos and, and photos, mm -hmm. but consistently adding a little something every week, you're telling Google that I'm, in, I'm, I'm engaged. I care yeah. about the user experience. And especially if you, if it's during like, say a holiday time, make sure your uh, hours of operation are up to date. Because right. one of the things that shows up nowadays in the in the map pack is it says last updated. Okay. So if you're looking for a hardware store and you see those three and the first one updated yesterday, which one and the other two haven't been updated in months, which one are you going to go for? Yeah, that's right. That's very fascinating. So this, this is really good, Marilyn, because you're putting this in a whole category, really. I, so many times people talk about social media marketing and things, and we automatically think, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn and TikTok and Twitter and all. We I never hear anybody talk about Google, Google, my business, all of that, mm -hmm. because it's just ignored because all Google is is a search search engine to get me to somebody's website. That's all it is. No, actually, it's a whole lot more. And that's what Marilyn helps you understand and execute. But you do a whole lot more than this. So, I mean, I wanted to tip right. – Talk to them about that because that's really, really low hanging fruit that anybody listening can go and do something today. And we'll tell you at the end of the podcast how to get a copy of her book. For, um, but let's talk about paid ads because you're an expert mm -hmm. at paid advertising as well um, online and things. Un unpack that and where some of the, the business owners struggle because, um, gosh, we've all been burnt, right? It's well, hard. yeah, I mean, in Google PPC is a beast. I mean, there's just so much in Google ads. Um, to to do to set up, to, but it's you know by getting your keywords right, um, and you know just it's one of those things that Google once you list in Google, you can actually attach it to your Google Business Profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now they're connected. So in certain areas, there's always three in the map pack. In certain areas, there's an ad on the top. Well, you can guarantee yourself that little ad listing is also in the paid ads at the top. So this okay. person is paying for. Too. And you'll see that with a lot of personal injury attorneys, that sort of thing. Right. Um, but yeah, as when it comes to ads, you want to, uh, like Google ads, you want to make sure you give them everything you possibly can. So there are things called call outs and extensions and all the technical terms. But the point is, is you want to focus on making sure that every single thing that someone can type in to find you, you're bidding on. And then you also want to take the back, the other side and take and get rid of the negative keywords that you don't want to show for. Mm -hmm. So though, although we do a lot of Facebook and Instagram ads, those are really quite helpful. 
Um, we get a lot more leads there, um, lower cost leads, although they're not as high intent. So when you think of someone that's searching for what you, what they want, now there's the level of awareness. On Facebook, maybe they're scrolling for cat videos and they're not quite aware that they're they're kind of niggling thinking about a divorce, but they're not really aware that it's an issue they need to address. Right. Or on Google, they're typing in, I need a divorce term. Right. So they're aware of a problem and looking to solve it. So there's yeah. two different levels of, or as you would think, top of funnel, bottom of funnel. Um, so that would be the intent. So depending on um, where, you, you know, what, what where you are, that would be the difference in where you would advertise. And then anyone doing uh, Google ads really should do a really small budget of Facebook ads because you can retarget people that's already uh, interacted with you. So I know that's a bunch, but that's. <laughs> yeah, well, but that's that's why, number one, it it stymies business owners. It gives us that deer in the headlights and we go, no, oh, sounds great, Marilyn, but I got something else to do. Right. Versus yeah. the business owner who's savvy enough to go. Marilyn, that sounds amazing. Can I have a conversation with you? Because you might be able to help me out. I just don't have time or interest to dive into all of this stuff. And you can probably do this on the backstroke, as we would say, right? You do it all day, every day. You've done a ton for attorneys. You can work with other businesses too, but it's, mm -hmm. it's what are you trying to do as a business? Is Google and Facebook, is that even the right place for you? Probably right. is. You never know. And then, okay, how do we leverage it so we can maximize it? And instead of throwing money at marketing and ad spend, mm -hmm. let's first look at your Google profile to make sure it's up and, and perfect. Because if that's bad, you're you're just not leveraging your investment. Is that fair? That is absolutely fair. And that's why one of the things that we do is we have, uh, I have personally have a discovery call with people that are interested in working with us. Yeah. I want to know what your goals are, who your ideal client is, what's your, your growth revenue goal for next year? Where are you? And then see, you know, we'll do an audit of everything. And because the first thing you want to do is you want to audit your website. So your Google business profile connects to your website. So there's a bunch of little buttons under, under the map on your profile. Yeah. Yeah. One is website. Okay. One is directions. One is chat. You can do an SMS chat from your Google business profile and one is call. So what you want to do is in the back in the management portal, you can see how many people are using each one of those buttons. You want to give people an easy, easy way to reach you. Well, if they go to your website, you want your website to be equally as good, if not better, because it can hold more information as your Google business profile. So they work hand in hand. Um, with our service, we do a article, a blog post every week that not only goes on your website, it also goes on your Google business profile, keyword rich, focusing on the city you're in, or maybe the town next to you as we help to be, help you be seen further afield from your office. Mm -hmm. So those are the things to start with. I mean, paid ads are going to be a fast win to ROI, but with your Google business profile, I've seen phone calls increase in less than a week. Mm hmm. That's amazing. That really is. Because I think a lot of business owners probably have a lot of content, but I think it's siloed. I don't think it's all connected. Yeah. And when they when they start to understand the the there is a centrality of the Google business profile page mm -hmm. and your website. Now, when you do other paid ads, it starts that that snowball effect. So you see results a lot faster than if you miss that first piece that we just spent seven or eight minutes talking about. So go back and re-listen to the first part of this podcast because what Marilyn shared with you there is absolute gold. And then you can start talking about other things in social media marketing and paid ads. And it's all good. It all works. But there really needs to be a strategy around this. And how can you take a load off of a business owner's um, page? In a sense, because I mean, I just talked to one of my clients today and he's like, man, things are good, but oh, just busy in time. And 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 I get it. We're there. Yeah. That's why business owners struggles because they don't invest in in um, high qualified partners to come in and say, I'm going to help work with you in this area of your business. And well, you're yeah, gonna... but your zone of genius is what you do for a living. Mm hmm. Why would you go to your zone of not genius? That's right. You know, to, to I mean, I to put it that way, you know, you do what you do best and make money at your average hourly, you know, revenue, how, yeah. you know, how that calculation goes. 
and outsource what's not up to you. And that way it gives you more time to grow your business at that higher level than building backlinks to a Google business profile. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> just give me, give me an ice pick and I'll just start stabbing myself now. <laughs> that just sounds terrible. <laughs> But Marilyn and her team know how to do it, and they actually enjoy it. So how do – I mean, Marilyn, I know you and I could talk for a long, long time about this because I'm really passionate about business owners and marketing and, and the, the fastest route to money and mm -hmm. engagement and getting that consumer who's actually searching for something, getting them the right information that they're interested in so they'll bond with you, they'll trust you, and they'll actually have that conversation and hire you. How do people reach out to you, Marilyn, to, to find or your company to, to get more information, to learn more about you, to schedule that discovery call? What's the best way for them to do and, and make sure we, we get a copy of your book. Where is that? I just threw a lot at you. Sorry. <laughs> well, the, the easiest way to reach me is at lawmarketingzone.com. Um, you can learn more about me. You can see you can book an appointment and it's a simple 15 minute discovery call. I'm also on Marilyn Jenkins on LinkedIn. So that's always a good place to see what I'm talking about. And a lot of it's SEO and Google business profile, lots of tips. Um, and if you want to get my book, the book is uh, the Google business profile training guide. I know I'm not real creative with names, but there you have it. And it's at maximizeyourgbp.com. And it walks you step-by-step step from claiming your, your Google business profile verifying it, and then, of course, maximizing it to be shown and to, to reach the map pack. Awesome. Maximize your GBP. I had to stop and go, what? It's like, <laughs> Google business profile, dummy. It's like, oh, I got it. <laughs> I'm going to capture that. We're going to put that in the show notes as well. So um, you don't have to remember that domain. You just have to go click on the show notes. It'll take you right there. So you can get a copy of that book. That That's actually, um, dare I say, that's probably step one for some people. But what you're going to find is there's some things in there that it's not the highest and best use of your time as a business owner to actually do that. You might want to read the book, scan it, go, oh, I got it. I got the idea. I know why this is important. Then schedule that 15 minute discovery call with Marilyn and just start walking down this road because what, what, what we find is that it, it's a, it's a rat maze for those of us who mm. aren't in it. And we need somebody like you, who you, you have a higher perspective. You've got years of experience and I'm sure in 15 minutes, you can take most clients and go, yeah, I think we could help you or no, I've got a partner who's actually better at whatever you need. But if you need business profile, Google business profile, if you need some paid ads, if you need to really stimulate the the audience to take action and to call you, reach out and, and have that call with Marilyn. Go check out her book. What, follow her on LinkedIn. I'll have all these links in the show notes and see how she can help you really take your business to an all new level without a ton of. Of, of work on your part and, and probably a lot less investment than you're thinking because of the way she's, she's doing things and making sure that Google business profile is up and running and, and spot on. So all that to say, Marilyn, thank you. Thanks for what you do. Um, it's really, really important. And, and just for being such a quality person and, and being my guest today. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate being here. And, you know, it's so important for every local business. That's just, that's my, my mission is just to make sure everyone knows how important it is and, and take advantage of the free resource from Google. Absolutely. Well, you've done a great job. Thanks again for being my guest. Thanks for listening to Experts Speak. We'll be back again next week with another phenomenal interview. Take care. God bless.